Yay! He's under the car. Right, so the oil filter is out. We looked online for the size of socket on that one and we tried 32, which it said it was. Wasn't. We tried every size known to man, but then found one that was 27. And 27 is the magic number. Isn't that right? It is. <laughs> so that's sitting draining my little oil tub. There you go. So that is a 27 on there. That unscrews, and there's your filter. Simple as. That's the easiest bit done. We'll leave that draining. Oh, what are you doing? Gloving. You want man hands like these. <laughs> Ruined man hands. <laughs> <laughs> you put your gloves on. Well, yeah. They provide them, I might as well use them. Yeah. So yeah, the boy's got his gloves on. And new filter. Lots of lovely oil. What's he got? Castrol Edge. Good choice. Too major. You're creating a mess. Literally a very tight spot. <laughs> Oh, clear that up a little bit. Oh, look at that. Yeah, not too bad. Nah. There you go. So there's the, uh, the drain plug back there. It's quite, quite good for a BMW. So, um, yeah, you've got a hole there in the plastic. So you don't have to take the plastics off. And there's a bung just there. And what's the size of that? Uh, what, the bolt? Yeah. It's a 17 mil. There you go, 17 mil bolt, and out comes the smelly diesel oil. Yeah, glad you didn't do this on the drive. <laughs> <laughs> At least yeah. out here, I can stick some degreaser on it and get rid of it. Yeah, that would soak into block paving, lovely. Right, we'll leave that draining then. Yeah. All right, got the old filter pulled out of the housing, and now the boy's about to put new on. He put new O ring on. Oh, that's just there, that's what I'm going to do. Do you know how to do it? Yeah, little pick tool, pull it off, slip that in. Right. What I don't know is where that goes <laughs> at the moment. Some plug. Ah, uh, yes, of course. Yeah, new copper. That. You can yeah. heat them up and renew them, but um, yeah. Yeah, no, I remember seeing that now. Right, let's get the uh, O-ring on. Uh, so it's all the way down. Yeah. And we are in the groove. Yep, we're good. Done. Put the filter in. <laughs> Give it a good old. <clears throat> so don't push on that tab because if you oh, break well. that. There, there we go. go. Click in. We're in. Jobs are good. Now I'll just take that out with me. Easy as that. Let's go. Simple. <laughs> Stick it in. It's already got some oil on there, so mm -hmm. I'll give it a bit more if there is some. Uh, it's all right with that as long as it's got some oil around it. Yeah, it's got some oil okay. still. So just the to take tab the, just to take the friction away is down there. Yes. So I need to work it in. Yeah, you should be able to click the tab in first, and it should, in theory. It's just a case of finding it. <laughs> Force it. The easiest way is probably to put the filter in. Change priority. <laughs> there we go. That should be in. Mm -hmm. He's talking down to 25. <clears throat> so. Perfect. Uh, question is where the other one is. There you go. How's it feeling? Yeah, feels good. Yeah. Do it with this first, just give it a little tight, well, not tight, but a gentle nip. Yeah, 25 newton meters isn't much. That's Barely anything, so that's probably around it. Yep. <laughs> right, torque wrench time. Right. Yep. You're ready for the click-click. 
Oh, yeah, this is easy with one hand. <laughs> Right, here we go. There you go. Went far off then. You went far off. No, caught the turn. Not bad. You copper. Look at that. On the bolt. So we'll stick that in. Then it's on the filler up. 25 newton meters. Yeah. No, about 15 on those. <laughs> and li literally just go. Just a very tight. Exactly. Right, get it in. Yep, and then seven litres, apparently. Wow. A lot of oil. <laughs> it's a lot of oil. Yep. Ugh. I'm even going to let the boy use my special funnel. Special one. Best funnel ever. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. You in? Arms are still finger tightening. That's finger tight. <coughs> you were saying about a mess of the hands earlier, there you go. <laughs> oh, look. Where's your gloves gone? There's nitro gloves in the uh, in the garage. Yeah, who needs those? <laughs> Prefer to feel it when I'm putting it back in. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wear gloves. Psst. Let's have a bit of a clean up. Let's make sure there's no residue. And then, a very slight Click, click, click. Well, not with this, but. <laughs> oh, yeah, you, you do your human talk. Yeah. Click, click. Yeah, that's probably about that. Do you want to grab the thing and we'll test it? Nah, <laughs> it'll be fine. A couple washer swells and it tightens it up anyway. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fine. Look at this way. It's. It's not uh, tight, but it's it's uh, tight. Yeah, it's uh, tight. Yeah, that's all you need. Just a uh, on those, not off. Oh. And let's pop this plug back in. He even bought himself a proper oil tray. Yeah, he made more of a bloody mess than I do with a bowl. <laughs> what are you on about? Give it a little clean. There goes my bath towel. <laughs> How many times have you used this already? I think this was the one you used on the S3 as well. <laughs> it's been around a bit. It has. I think it was on the old BM that we used to have as well before these ones. Quite possibly. Alright, there we go. Job done. So that's undercar all done. No, oh, weather's coming in. I had to put the roof back on the uh, little smart. Oh. Oil. Oil. Oh no, you're using the paper one. Yes. Old gasket? <laughs> Old gasket. Don't need that now. Oh, this should be fun. <laughs> oh, I'll do actually use this pierce thing because it always makes me happy. Glow, glow, goes. The golden stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Castrol Edge. Did you put the sump plug back in? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'll put half a litre in, check that there's no leakage. And I cannot see any leakage. Excellent. So we'll fill it up with this whole bottle, which is four litres. And that should be just over half full then. Ooh, excellent. Castrol Edge. The recommended stuff apparently. Good for gasoline, petrol, diesel and hybrids. Why don't I just put good for anything? Good for a car. Good for whatever old thing you want to put it in. Look at that. Okay, so that's one. So your thing did work. Your yeah. 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 Just make sure there's no leakage again. Zero leakage. Excellent. And now you can show the people what sh well, it's not supposed to be on a BMW. Well, not a lot of people know about it, but right at the back, this bit here, if we pull this out, which is a bit tight, you actually have an oil dipstick. There you go. So let's get ourselves some red and white on it. In theory, it's not going to show anything at the moment because we're still quite 
low. We shall see. <clears throat> no, dry. Yep. So, more oil, please. Mm. <laughs> there you go. That's where your dipstick is. Not a lot of people know that. No. <laughs> Super. More glug glug stuff. Yeah. Scissor pierce and all the rest of it out. Chuck it in. All Whoa. of it. <laughs> It'll be a good half of it. How many litres does it hold? Supposedly seven litres. Seven litres. That's what I've read. So four's in there at the moment. This is another four litres. So On the front. It's on the front on this, yeah. We've had another litre, so that should be five in there now. We'll probably give it a test at about six litres. About what I drink in whiskey a week. <laughs> <laughs> We're not alcoholics here. Obviously. No, not at all. I like yeah. whiskey, but yeah, not that much. Probably be dead. So. Yeah, that's about six and a half litres, so we'll just give it a quick check on our newly found dipstick. Mm -hmm. And of course, you need to start it up and level it off and get it circulated as well. Exactly, which the car actually has a feature for that, so it looks like we are starting to hit this. So let's put in maybe another litre and then we'll let it run for a moment. <laughs> oh, karate top. <laughs> that brings back memories. <laughs> yeah. Yes, for those that don't know, we both used to teach martial arts many years ago and had a school for over 10 years. Yeah, and I forget what down we got to, around fifth, weren't it, or something crazy like that. <laughs> I think I was fourth and you were fifth, yeah. Something like that. Irrelevant now. I haven't done it for a long time. The body's broke now. That's intended but it should be fine. Check. Yeah I would say that's around half now. Let's just clean off and have a proper check. Yeah, I would say that's pretty much just below the max now. Mm -hmm. So, I think it's time to give her a run. Let everything level out. Check it again, and then... Call it a day. Job done. Jobs are good. And... Jobs are good. And... It's alive! <laughs> Notification, warnings, my bonnet's open. Oh, your bonnet's open. I know, I can see that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that big thing in front of you looks like a bonnet. And yeah. the door's open. Door's mm, open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Windows are open as well. Right, so we go vehicle settings, I believe. Soon find out. Uh, it might not be that, actually. Vehicle status, I believe that's the one. And then we want to go to the oil, engine oil level. Measure engine oil level. It's not going to let us at the moment, so... We'll give it a run first, but uh, let it just warm up a little bit. Idle, check the dipstick, and then we'll do a check on it when we're giving it a run. Simple. Easy. <laughs> Test drive. Trash. <laughs> Trash. You've got a puck down there as well. I'll pick that up. Yeah. I suppose I'm putting the jack away. Well, I might need it. Who knows? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> we'll see. New brakes. Go easy. New yeah. oil. Go fast. <laughs> Everything should be good. Sweet. Seatbelt. Safety. Ooh, smelly diesel. Bye bye.
must have gone okay because you're back. It's measuring now, so we'll soon see. But no warning lights or anything, so we'll see what the measurement says. Try well, this is getting picked up on camera. Here you go, grab that. <laughs> don't know, I might be, uh, it'll probably be a bit flickery, but yeah. You know. So it just revs it up to about a thousand. Got no warning lights on at the moment, which is a good sign. 90. Done, what's it saying? Engine oil level okay. It's literally right there on the max. So I would say that's perfect. Job's a good one. Yeah. Time to park up. Well done. Done. Hey. <laughs>